In today's column, I am advocating for virtual events, not just because we've been forced to go online over the past year, but I think it's opened organizations' minds into the potential and also into the digital marketing return. So here are some reasons why you should embrace virtual events and not just through coronavirus, but also into the future. The first thing that it does is it allows you to give a platform to your subject matter experts. Often in traditional media, it's the CEO or perhaps the media spokesperson who will go out and be front off screen and who will be the trusted voice. The one thing that we've learned about the digital age is that we need to scale digital communications right across the organization and give voice to every single department. So when you host a virtual event, it's an opportunity to put other people front and center of the conversation. Another opportunity in hosting virtual events is the data that it provides to us. If you're interested to know how engaged the public is in a new piece of policy, a new campaign, or a new initiative, host a virtual event. Let's see how much they engage through social, through search, onto your landing page, and then converting to actually registering. Another important value of virtual events for digital marketing is the repurposability of events. This show here is repurposed to the maximum effect. So even if you cannot attend an event, people who missed it will get the opportunity to revisit important segments and important points. I also love virtual events because they allow me to reach an international and a more global audience. This is probably the same for you. No real need to fly speakers in from countries. No real need for you to fly out to another country to speak at an in-person event. It allows you to really expand your tribe, your network of influencers, and also your influence. 